Hey guys, this is Travis with Gorsuch Performance. Today I want to show you how to assemble a StopTech floating uh, brake rotor assembly. We've got your standard 810 rotor and we've got our hardware. This is an example of uh, a floating setup. So, first off we will start with a standard 810 rotor and you want to make sure it has the oval holes. With that rotor we will use an adapter uh, plate to attach the rotor to the hub. And so first thing we'll do is we'll take our hardware pack, we'll open it up, and it comes with your Loctite and your torque specs of everything here on how to uh, torque it, and your little hardware bobbins. So the bobbins actually go into the adapter and it's got a step on here which will locate the head of the, I'll say the bobbin. So we'll insert all of those. rotors um, are specifically designed with this flange thickness to match up and the oval hole to match up with this assembly. So uh, any of our rotors that are designed for the float will, uh, will work together. After you get all your uh, bobbin hardware in, I just take and flip it over and then you can locate your rotor onto the hardware. One thing you want to do is make sure that all of these bobbins are the same level of the rotor face. So the bobbin actually just sticks up just a little higher than the surface of the rotor. So when we put the hardware in and torque it down, it's actually squeezing onto the bobbin and allowing the rotor to float on there slightly. So it's always good to just double check each of those to make sure everything's square. Open up the Loctite. And there's usually enough here for uh, quite a few assemblies. Coat the bolts. And I do, because they are Loctited in place, I do recommend that anytime you change the rotor, you replace your hardware. It's a very small hardware, and with all the heat and cycles that the uh, system sees, um, the, br the bolts can become brittle. Sometimes you can get them out, but you hate to take the chance that one's cracked or something silly when you're replacing the, uh, the rotor. The adapters usually last for uh, multiple rotors, or multiple sets of brake rotors. So we get these in place. And then if you notice on the uh, little attached sheet sitting there, it's got the torque spec of 67 to 72 inch pounds. So we'll get our little uh, torque wrench here. First I'm gonna thread these all in by hand. Okay, where we got them snugged in. Now we'll set this 70 inch pounds of and torque. I'll do it in a star pattern. So then I will go back over and just kind of double check to make sure that they are where they should be. And then you will notice once we get this assembled or torqued, the rotor and the hat and everything might be a little snug. So it doesn't feel like it wants to float. But is what you can notice here, or what you may notice, is see how that when we torque these down, the heads twist just a little bit. That corner is kind of caught, but if you take a little wrench and just free it, now it's free and it floats. So we'll just loosen that just or just give it a little twist. It's got a little bit of float. It's only like 10 thousandths of float. Um, typically, if the guys don't do that, you can take it out and make the first lap um, or, or just drive the car around just shortly and it usually frees right up. But uh, it's not a lot of float. It's usually about 10 thousandths of float radially and, and axially. So that's kind of the, uh, the assembly process. The other thing that I always recommend is that you put the, the adapter on this side so that we keep this passage for the airflow into the rotor as open as possible. Sometimes I'll see on different stock cars or modified, sometimes the guys will mount the rotor so that the hub or the adapter plate and everything mounts on this side, but it plugs the airflow to your rotor and will cause it to run dramatically higher. Well, hopefully that uh, helps you guys and uh, shows how easy it is to assemble a floating rotor assembly. If you have questions, contact us at GorsuchPerformanceSolutions.com or give us a call at 951-310-0561. Thank you.